Hi, and welcome to the Edpuzzle video. Today we're going to be discussing deriving the monthly payment formula and using it to calculate monthly payments of installment loans. So let's get started. Let's do a little warm up here. We use the following formula to find the distance someone has traveled. Distance equals rate times time. Solve the equation for time. All right. Now that you've had some time to do that, let's see what it is. Time equals distance divided by rate. We can solve this formula just by dividing both sides by rate. Well, similarly, we have lots of forms of equations for representing the same formula in relationship. Primarily this monthly payment formula. These are all the different ways that formula has been stated can see solving for several different things. Several people use different letters to represent different things. The one we are going to focus on is the one Apex gives you. Keep in mind, I want to note a few things here. M stands for the monthly payment. P stands for the principal. R here. I know a lot of times we've been using R for the APR. In this case, the R, keep in mind, is the periodic interest rate. So R is the periodic interest rate. And N, before we've been using it for um, the number of times it's compounded. In this case, we're using N as in the number of payments that are going to be made. So keep that in mind. R and N are just slightly different than the R and the N we've been using. So here is the formula again. Enter this formula into your guided notes for lesson three. And think about again what each of those do stand for. If you need to write it down, here it is. And you're entering this into your guided notes. Awesome, thank you. And we're gonna use it to calculate a monthly payment here. So let me flip it over so I can draw on my screen. All right. So we're gonna calculate the payment on Sam and Jim's new car. They are taking out a loan for $25,000 with an APR of 4.6% monthly. They will pay the loan back completely in five years. All right, so let's look at our formula here. The principal, you can see that's 25,000. Times R, remember R was our periodic interest rate. We know our APR is 4.6%. Remember the periodic interest rate change that to a decimal and the period here is going to be monthly so we're going to divide by 12 all right so 0 0.046 divided by 12 gives us a periodic interest rate of 0 0.0038. So put that in there. And then one plus our rate again, 0 0.0038 being raised to the N. Remember N stands for the number of payments. We know it is monthly for five years. So our number of payments would be five times 12 or 60. So N would be 60. OK. 
again, our rate is 0 0.0038 raised to the 60th power minus 1. All right, time to put this in our calculator. Remember, use lots of parentheses. If you're putting it into your calculator, I would put it in looking like this. divided by, and again, another parenthesis, so your calculator knows. I'm going to put two parentheses here, 1 plus 0 0.0038 raised to the 60th power, so that whole thing, and then subtract 1. So that's how you would enter that into your calculator. All right, hopefully you came up with this answer. $467 and about 76 cents. All right, time for you to try one. Now that you've helped me do one, There's the problem. All right, hopefully you've had a chance to try that. And then double check your answer, lovely, luckily, we have calculators out there that do a lot of those calculations for us. So double check your answer there and we are going to be practicing this in class tomorrow. So have a wonderful night, and I will see you tomorrow.